You're listening to 90.3 KEXP in Seattle and all over the world at kexp.org. My name is Charlize. I am your host of Audio Oasis, and it's now time for live music by Aqueduct on KEXP. I can't help myself. I've tried it before. And again after that, I can't help myself. So I think about it, think about it every day. Can't think about it, think about it now. Used to keep me up like every night. Can't think about it, think about it now. Can't think about it, think about it now. Can't think about it, think about it now. Can't think about it, think about it now I get off when I'm uneven Even if you don't believe it I won't laugh if you won't either I refuse to be the leader I can't help myself About it, think about it now. Used to keep me up like every night. Can't think about it, think about it now. 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 We get off when we're uneven. Even if you don't believe it, we won't laugh if you won't either. About it, think about it now. Used to keep me up like every night. Can't think about it, think about it now. 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 They 
to live music by Aqueduct. You just heard Legend of Cage and Simple Animal, and both of those come from Wild Nights. Thank you so much for coming here. Oh, our pleasure. I think it's <laughs> it's always been like a interview fantasy of mine. Well, maybe just to be in a room to hear your music, which is really, really great. So it, it's nice to have you here. The last time you were here was with Boat, yeah. and I almost singled you out. But it wasn't about you. It was about boat at the time. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh yeah. <sighs> Excellent. <laughs> no one heard anything that you said. I sounded no like a crazy my person talking to myself. Boat joke. <laughs> Tell it again. What was your terrible boat joke? Oh, you said it wasn't about me, and I said it wasn't about me. <laughs> <laughs> that was really good. That's just that's terrible. That very, yeah. very, very Canadian. <laughs> yeah. Very good. So um, you're here celebrating Wild Nights, which is a celebration for all Aqueduct fans. Yay. Because it took eight years. It's out. For this album to come out. <laughs> yeah. You like pulled yes, a D'Angelo did. on us or something. Uh, as close as I could yeah. to pulling a <laughs> D'Angelo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so you, you have a, a band that, you, that we should talk about. Um, who's with you today? Well, on guitar, we have Matthew Nader. On drums, Chris Witten, and playing bass, Cam Nicholas. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, what I like to say about Aqueduct is everyone's played drums in the band but me. Oh, really? Yep. <laughs> At one point. Um, <laughs> so. so I was going to ask about the recording of the album. Did you take everyone with you or did you do it yourself? Because in the past, you've done it all yourself. Yeah, I mean... I definitely I, I recorded this album in so many phases and stages that um, everybody sort of got to put something down, you know, or or at least like have it recorded at their house. Um, cool. Yeah. So uh, I did a lot of recording in Seattle over the years. Um, with uh, we kind of started tracking stuff with Brian Paik at the Toy Box Studio, which mm -hmm. is sadly not even there anymore. Um, a lot of recording at home, recording at Cam's house, tracking vocals, Jason Holstrom from USC and wonderful. I, I did some piano at his house. So yeah, I just hopped all over the place. And then at some point it was like, okay, I've got 15 great songs to, to really like lay down. And that, at that point I reached out to my old producer in Texas, Matt Pence, and we kind of went down there, uh, and retracked lots of stuff all the drums and um just put a lot of uh kind of a neat spin on arranging the tunes that you know had sort of accrued in years and history and you know we kind of threw a lot of that stuff out and uh and started fresh and kind of came up with this really cool cohesive record of just weird sounds and cool hooks and <laughs> all that stuff yeah so um going back to it taking eight years to release. Are you a very particular person? Not, not in like you know. I was not like striving per for perfection on this. You know, I, I'd, I'd say I probably let life get in the way. Um, you know, more than, uh, than I did like have. You know, my art didn't like consume me f for this record, which which was actually kind of nice because. Um, at some point when I was able to get life out of the way, it was kind of like uh, using that creativity and recording and writing and all that stuff is 
so therapeutic yeah. for um yeah for getting getting through life you know so it was, right. it was neat to sort of like take two or three stabs at this album <laughs> over the past 8 years yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> so you travel back and forth to Denton Texas yeah um Matt Pence uh his studio is called the Echo Lab down in Denton Texas and it's cool it's out out in the middle of nowhere kind of like in a cow pasture and um uh, I don't know. It's it's a nice like retreat. Um, it, kind of bizarre too, because I found myself there two years in a row, twenty fourteen and fifteen on New Year's Eve and day. So it's kind of like a neat way to start the year. Yeah. Two, two years in a row, like out, kind of like in a cabiny, awesome like barn rec- recording studio. Nice. Out in the out in the Texas wilderness. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So taking your your time on these songs, you know, of course, living your life, do performing these songs now, do you have some sort of like emotional memories that come from it? No, performing, I I feel like I just, I turn it all off and it's just kind of like a mixture of like, uh, like anxiety in the moment and, uh, you know, just uh, like, I don't know, just muscle memory. Yeah, uh, you know, it's it's a blend of of those two things, um, well, but I don't. Yeah, but I don't feel like listening to the record, or you know, I, I feel like it's painted in such a pop light that it it is a dark record, but it's like a hopeful record too. And um, yeah, it doesn't doesn't bum me out, you know, to think about where some of those songs came from, you know, when I'm hearing them or playing them. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think that one of the things that makes Aqueduct so special is the way you sing your emotions. So, I don't know, it feels a little bit coded to me. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> I definitely love the way that you say things. So, nice. with that said, would you like to sing some more for us? Absolutely. Cool. Aqueduct on KEXP.
always after me Insisting everybody's always after me I look over my shoulder and you're gone Fall apart Forget 
get it right I've got to get it right Whenever you're lonely You are not alone I, I really wish it was Saturday because, I mean, it is Saturday. Sorry. I, I okay, I just messed up. Um, <laughs> well, back to Kirk I wish Charles. we were at, I just, I just wish we were at the tractor right now so that you guys could just keep playing and I wouldn't be talking. <laughs> I would be singing your words. Thank you. That was awesome. You got it. Growing up at GNR was our bonus track. Oh, yeah. That was really cool. <laughs> um, Paranoid Much, we also heard that and Past the Point. Um, those two are from the new album, Wild Nights. And um, I had a couple more questions, but... Hit me. Okay. Hit me. Um, <laughs> I wanted to talk about... Well, the Kickstarter went well. Now Wild Nights is on vinyl. Yep. That's really cool. Available yep. now. Yep, available online. now. Aqueduct at Bandcamp, or however you say it, aqueduct.bandcamp.com. Yeah, yeah, that works. And the other question I had was, the album is self-released. Yeah. Yeah, what's that? I mean, you did all the work. What was that like? I did. I am still doing it all the yeah. work. Yeah, maybe even more so now, or like the less fun part. Does it feel like an extra job? <laughs> it definitely feels like an extra job on top of like a regular day job. Yeah. And then um, just the like regular r running a band, you know, like r running a label on top of all that. I bet that these is... guys are crazy. Yeah, Hard to handle. They are very high <laughs> maintenance, these three. Well, you have quite the accomplishment. It's really great to have this album out in the world. Yeah. No, I just thought um, I could spend, you know, it's been eight years. I could spend another, like, year or two trying to find a label to put it out. But I just feel like it needs to be out, and it's 2015, and you can do that kind of thing yeah. in, in this day and age. So yeah, it's out. Cool. Upcoming tour? Upcoming. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Among other things. Yeah. Lots of lots of upcomings. Cool. <laughs> we can stay posted to Aqueduct is good music dot com. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much for coming here. This Thank was you, such Charlize. a pleasure. Yeah. Uh let's see. You've been listening to live music by Aqueduct here on Audio Oasis, ninety point three KEXP Seattle. Discover new music at listener powered KEXP dot O R G.